Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawking. They've all come through these doors. And for more than 160 years, this eminent institution's been open to a curious public. Carlos Frank's a superstar in the field of cosmology. He believes in building bridges between science and society. Being selected to exhibit at the Royal Society is one of the greatest honors scientists can have because it gives them the opportunity to communicate the results of their research to the public at large. There's not, no point making the greatest discovery ever in science if only you and your friends know about it. This year, 250 scientists are showcasing cutting-edge research, including plans to build a new generation of skyscrapers from wood. These are the towers of tomorrow, made from gluing layer upon layer of timber together. Every ton of wood holds 1.8 tons of carbon dioxide in it. Um, and so building cities out of wooden buildings is a way to store that carbon for a long, long time. And if you're wondering, the wood's specially treated and configured to make it fireproof. As science advances, a growing number of people fear losing their autonomy to technology. Driverless cars have recently made headlines precisely because they've crashed. Last year, an Uber self-driving car killed a pedestrian during testing. These researchers are trying to prove scientifically that automated cars are safer than those driven by humans. This is all about building trust in artificial intelligence by comparing human abilities in driving a car with AI. I'm driving around a virtual city and hazards keep popping out at me. At the end of all of this, I'm given a final score, although I'm not doing very well at the moment. I nearly killed that cyclist. What this simple data gathering experiment shows is that time after time, autonomous vehicles outperform humans when it comes to spotting hazards and stopping in time. By 2030, scientists believe self-driving vehicles will save thousands of lives. But convincing the skeptics remains a big part of the scientists' work. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, at the Royal Society, London.